Hey all, we're Pavi and Nami, the 9 to 5 misfits and owners of Misfit Communications. This is a time to be productive, so we're putting out content that's going to spread joy and not viruses. And virai. Or virusai. Yeah. So it's a weird time right now, right? I mean, we're experiencing a global pandemic, Cash. everything's on lockdown, but we're all about looking at the positives and we are going to get through this. So here are some unexpectedly delightful ways to keep occupied during this time. Number one, learn a language. I'm super ashamed to say this. I've been in Texas for the last decade and I never learned Spanish, Me neither. which is really sad. So I downloaded Duolingo and I've been learning Spanish and crushing it. Guys, it's gamified. It's so fun. You literally go through like each course and you feel so good. So I'm yes. very powerful. I've heard you saying it in the bathroom. Although there are other options like Coffee Break uh, podcast series other oh, than yeah. Duolingo. But get on it. Number two, do something with your hands. Ew, okay. <laughs> I know. Other than washing them, of course, which is what I obviously meant, make some art. Do some origami, use that coloring book that's sitting on your shelf, or just steal it from your kids. Or start learning calligraphy or napkin folding for that fancy dinner party you're gonna throw and definitely gonna call me too once all of this blows over, right? Number three, move your body. Do something to stay active. Plenty of yoga studios, dance studios are offering free classes. So take advantage of that. Or even get outside, get some sunshine while maintaining safe six feet distance, of course. Again, go at odd times maybe and just like don't like random people. But that's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, revisit the things you'd save for later. So I have a Gmail folder called courses and resources, you know, because I'm cool like that. And I stash all the things I know I'm supposed to read, like articles and blog posts, but I just never get to them. Same with YouTube videos. I flag them as watch for later and I never watch for later. Well, now is the time. Let's do it. Number five, allow yourself to be bored. Honestly, ever since this showed up in our lives, we don't even know how to be bored. I know. So for a change of pace, try to unplug for about one to two hours a day and maybe let your mind wander, write something in your journal, go outside, play, do whatever it takes. Let's see what happens. Speaking of, number six, unplug from the news. Look, I know given the current situation, it's natural to want to monitor the news on a minute by minute basis, but it's really bad for your productivity and your mental health. So please take some breaks and with every new piece of information, ask yourself, am I really learning anything new? If not, shut it down. So which of these are you going to go to today? Let us know in the comments below. For more uplifting content, stay tuned for future videos and let us know if you want to hear about something in particular. Again, we're Pavi and Nami, the work from home gurus nobody asked for but that the world certainly deserves. Thank you.